Hello friend, welcome again. So in this video, we will discuss the undercut feature in the product design. So we'll discuss what is meant by undercut in the product design, how we can avoid the undercut and the different techniques to manufacture the undercut design. So we'll discuss this one. So I hope you subscribe the channel and uh, uh, watching the series from the start. So so with the continue so i'll explain the what is mean by undercut so here you can see this is the part and this feature is called as undercut because in the pulling direction if you can see so this is the uh, direction of the mold and this one is the half direction of the mold so here you can see this material will stuck so this material will stuck uh, during the ejection so so it is difficult to remove this material from the mold and this feature from the mold so this is called as a undercut so we we should have always uh, the drafted surface but so, so this one you can see so this one is the drafted okay we can remove from this side but uh, but after applying the draft also we can't remove this surface because this is called as undercut so here you can see this one is the uh, design uh, and here we have the undercut so this one is a poor design but uh, if you do some small changes in the design like by adding the uh, small cutout so here we can we don't need any additional uh, mechanism to remove this undercut so only in the two half we can remove this uh, feature and we can eject the part so always uh, try to uh, design the part free from the undercut the undercut features generally stuck in the mold and it is difficult to eject from the mold and sometimes the small undercuts are allowed and it depends on the type of material the manufacturing process we are using like uh, you can see in the rotational molding so the rotational molding is a zero pressure molding generally in the rotational molding so the material material leaves the wall so suppose this one is in the rotational molding so material leaves this wall and shrink so at that time so some small undercuts we can uh, eject but uh, in the injection molding you, if you see there will, will be the high pressure okay so at that time so we need a, a good drafted design and free from the undercut uh, features and if uh, the undercuts are uh, um, means uh, uh, as per the applications we require those features so at that time we can use the lifter and the slider mechanism so these are the two mechanisms i will explain in the next slide so with the help of the mechanism we can uh, manufacture the undercut features but uh, uh, our part should be free from the undercuts we, we always uh, try for the free from the undercut design so we won't allow undercuts uh, if it is not uh, as per the applications or uh, not as per the requirements okay so how we can avoid the undercuts in the design so first is uh, uh, our part should have the good amount of draft so suppose this one is my part okay so we need to uh, give the draft uh, to the vertical surfaces so this one is the my first mold movement and this one is my second mold movement so this surface uh, surface uh, parallel to the pulling direction so parallel to the pulling directions we need to drop this one so this surface we need to drop okay this surface we need to drop so this surface we don't or required a draft okay so certain angles we need to provide here so that we can eject from the both the side so the draft angle it depends on the height of this surface so suppose the height is uh, large so at that time you can provide the less draft and suppose height is small so at that time you can go for the uh, large value of the angle so generally in the uh, injection molding so we, we will try from uh, 1 degree to 3 degree but it depends on the height as I said so you can go for 0.5 as well if, if the 
height is uh, height is uh, large so because if you provide the 0.5 even here so you can see at the end it will be the big change so you need to check here this distance how much distance here increasing so our uh, while providing the trap so always make sure that your uh, base geometry will not disturb so uh, provide the trap as per uh, as per the your part geometry and the height of that surface if the surface height is a very small uh, very small so at that time you can go for 5 degree 5 degree as well and then the correct parting line we need to uh, select so i will show you in the cad so here you can see this part suppose i choose this one is as a parting line so at that time the, you can see this is the undercut but if we uh, shift the parting line to the at the middle so here you can see uh, if i choose this one as a parting line so this what this will be the undercut at that time but if I choose the middle of this one, this one has a parting line. So at that time, I can give the draft of this surface. So in half half, I can give the draft and we can eject the part. Okay. So in this case, uh, uh, we can shift. We, we have shipped the parting line, and uh, we uh, uh, because of that we don't have the undercut. So likewise, you need to choose the correct parting line next one is always uh, we need to try for a flat parting line instead of offset parting line so you can see uh, in the uh, cad software uh, like this one is a part okay so here we have the flat parting line okay so this one is a suppose flat parting i'll show you another example uh, so this one so here and at the middle we have shifted the parting line so this one is a flat parting line so we we will have this parting line here so we will split this surface drop in the middle okay like i will show you the draft how we can apply so this one is a small parting line okay so here we have, we can we need to select this surface and the hinge parting line and here we can split this surface okay and dependently we will add and we can add the three degree parting line so our parting line should be here material at the day removing okay so it would be like this so i'll show you front view so this one is a our draft angle three degree i applied but this one is a very small so you can go for five five degree as well four degree five degree as well so so our draft while giving the draft it won't change the my sorry we need to make sure that it won't change the uh, base design okay likewise so we need to always try for the flat parting line so this one is a flat parting line so we, we won't have any uh, offset design but if we see here uh, uh, the product one so here we have the uh, this design here so this one is a portion suppose here we have added i will take a screenshot here so suppose i want to remove this undercut so i, I did a changes like uh, this one so instead of hole i am here parting line will be this one so in that case this uh, undercut will not be there so i had did the changes in the parting line uh, so i shift from flat to I, I went to offset parting line here so it the parting line will move like this so in that case i'll add here cutout like this so this cutout i'll increase here uh, okay yeah i'll roughly model this one so you can see so in that case that uh, uh, undercut is removed and our parting line shifted from here to like this so this one will be the our parting line so this is the offset parting line actually so as i said we need to uh, do some required changes in the design to remove the undercuts like i just added the uh, uh, the cutout and suppose uh, we require the undercuts in the uh, design so our requirement is to have that uh, uh, features in the design so at that time 
uh, we can design some undercuts uh, like uh, for the internal undercuts we use the lift lifter mechanism and for external undercuts we use the slider mechanism so i'll explain in the next slide actually so we have the different techniques to manufacture the undercuts but uh, it requires the more cost it increases the uh, more complexity and the mechanism so uh, always try uh, uh, to uh, free from the undercut uh, design so so these are the some techniques where we can uh, manufacture the undercut features also so first one is the slider and the slider uh, mechanisms where you can see this mold is move upward this mold is move upward and for this undercut only for this undercut only we have the sliding code so sliding here so this mold will slide like this so this one is the slider mechanisms where we can manufacture the undercuts next one is the lifter mechanisms for the internal features so like uh, you can see this mold will go down this mold will go up and this is the angle pin lifter so it will uh, add some angle so it will move in this direction so while uh, after moving this uh, upward this mold so slightly it will move, move and uh, at certain time it will uh, directly uh, remove uh, remove this undercut features okay so likewise we can uh, remove the undercuts here or we can eject the undercuts here and what uh, another is the collapsible code so this one is the uh, for the internal undercuts so this one is the collapsible uh, core where we can have this uh, diameter change so we can uh, design the undercuts with the help of this collapsible code and next one is the uh, unscrewing mechanisms so unscrewing mechanisms where we have the uh, suppose uh, we are manufacturing the cap bottle so in the cap bottle we have the internal threads and uh, for that internal threads uh, generally on the mold there will be the uh, core having the thread portion and uh, this cap will assemble uh, means uh, have the material on that on the uh, core core of that part and that core is rotating so that the our cap is uh, having the thread portion and it will uh, eject from the mold so we need to rotate that cap or the core so that we can eject the uh, internal th uh, internal threads and the complete cap so that one is the unscrewing mechanism and mold insert so there are two types actually we can place the mold inside the uh, inside the uh, place the insert inside the mold and uh, permanently or we can say uh, uh, by preparation of the hole or the any uh, cavity okay so here you can see this image so here insert is placed permanently so that we have the fast for fastening purpose or for the fitting purpose okay but uh, mold uh, insert generally uh, some removable insert also we can place so that we can uh, uh, have some I uh, means uh, some hole or like that we can design undercut holes we can design in the part okay so once the part is ejected so uh, before the uh, sorry the before the part is ejected uh, we remove the uh, that insert from the um, uh, part and it will form the undercut feature in the part okay so there are two types of insert we can removable insert and the permanent insert like this one is a permanent type it comes with the plastic but uh, some are the uh, the before the ejections we uh, removed those inserts so friend i hope uh, you like this video and understood the undercuts and the design guidelines for the undercuts and the manufacturing different manufacturing techniques to uh, manufacture the undercut features so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon okay and share with your friend and uh, comment uh, if you have any questions so thank you for watching see you in the next video